guys and welcome to Sketchbook Slam and my channel. I'm Amanda and uh, this is a video about why I don't think I will be continuing the challenge. I just want to say right off the bat that I do encourage you to try it because I learned a lot from it and we'll get into that later. Um, but uh, yeah, it might be for you, it might not be, but I think that trying things at least is important and then you will know because if you don't try it then you'll never know so um by the way this challenge was made by holly brown if you want to go and check out her video i'll leave a link in the description and bailey j is actually doing really well with this challenge so um go and check out her progress as well she is behind but she's doing pretty good much better than what i had um, so yeah, I started off this challenge with high hopes. I really thought that it was going to help me get better and faster at sketchbook work. Um, and to start with, I was having fun learning how to draw gestures and filling up the pages quite with quite decent drawings. Um, but then I fell behind. Um, and the reason I fell behind is because I didn't really feel like I wanted to sketch anymore and I sketch every day. I have a sketchbook. Before I started this challenge I would fill up um, sketchbooks quite frequently and draw every day in my sketchbook whether it be 1 to 20 pages. Um, as long as I had the time and I felt in the mood I would sketch. So um, a quick side note, I have fibromyalgia and uh, along with pain and fatigue there also comes this thing where I have very little to no short term or long term memory. I can recall some things but most things are quite bad. So when I'm learning some stuff or when I'm trying to do something, I have to do it very slowly and multiple times otherwise <clears throat> it will just slip my brain and I won't remember. So um, that's another reason why I can't do this challenge because I was just filling up 20 pages a day and I couldn't spend time learning or thinking about why I'm putting the lines and shadow and shapes there and um, I couldn't really learn much. I like to, even though I don't really like school settings and other people teaching me, I like to teach myself in a very structured way. So this wasn't really helping me much. I filled up 72 pages in five days, which was way, be way behind in terms of the sketchbook slam challenge, but more than triple my usual um, amount. And I was just going through page after page, drawing random crap just to fill the page and not learning a thing. I was doing a lot of copying from very simple doodles and from very simple um, ch children's colouring book pages. So that was something that I didn't really want to draw either. So it was just like, I was just doing that to, to fill up a page. Um. So yeah, that is pretty much the reason why. Also, I have a very busy life and I'm not making excuses, but I know that I know that a lot of people have a busy life, but I run three YouTube channels and I have a son and a partner that I like to hang out with and make sure that I'm uh, doing the best of my ability to clean the house and make it livable and I'm doing school runs and all that stuff. So I have very limited time, but I do have time to sketch every day. I just don't have time to sketch 20 pages a day. It doesn't really matter if you're filling up one or 20 pages a day. As long as you are drawing every day to the best of your ability and doing a mix of studies and finished pages and just um, your own work, imaginative work and reference work. As long as you're doing that, you will get faster and you will get better and you will learn. Um, so I'm not failing this challenge, I wouldn't say. I'm just officially quitting it and um, going back to the way that I was doing sketchbooks before, which was with perfect, with purpose, with with purpose in my eyes um so yeah again I'm not discouraging you from doing it you can try it I learned a lot from it like I said earlier in the video um I did learn that the paper and the books that I was using was absolute garbage and that I didn't really want to sketch in that book again um I learned that I really like in, um and enjoy sketching in pen um which I did do before but like I didn't really do it to the extent that I did it um, in those books. I just didn't really care about those books, so I just sketched in pen and it didn't really matter if it looked crap or not. Um, I also learned that even though I despised it when I seen 
like in sketchbook tour videos I would watch people and I would say why do they put post-it notes over things like just leave it and move on but if you put post-it note over it and then try or like even a label or just something that's similar like tape a bit of paper on top of it and then draw over it again you're teaching yourself what was rubbish before and then what was good and what you can do to make it better so I do understand the whole like post-it note thing now um I also really enjoy sketching with mechanical pencil and I learned that I um like the ability to erase sometimes and miss it when it's not there um because I don't erase a lot <clears throat> I really don't even if I'm drawing in pencil, I do not erase a lot, but I like the ability to have it there just in case I royally screw up and I can fix it. Um, and I also learned, like I've been saying throughout this video, is that if I slow down and think about it, I get much more from it and the the result is much better than what um, what I, I did. So... Um, now I, as you can see in this video, I am sketching um, some Sunday, some like ice cream Sunday thing in the Daler Rooney Graduate Sketchbook and it's a soft cover. It's A4, that's another thing that I learned. Well, I already knew this kind of, but I really, really learned like so much more that I enjoy sketching in bigger sketchbooks like A4 size, which is eight and a half by 11 or 8.3 by 11.7 um, in shades. So I don't really like sketching in the A5 sketchbooks anymore. Um, I really like sketching in bigger sketchbooks. So that's another thing. I think that from now on, I won't be buying the, A5, uh, the A4 sketchbooks, uh, the A5 sketchbooks, because when I do take them to my mum's house, or when I go out traveling or whatever, I have a bag big enough to hold a sketchbook that is A4. Like I don't need to um, have a smaller sketchbook to just fit in my bag. So I would prefer to draw on a bigger scale. And the reason for that is because I can draw small, but I can also draw bigger if I need to. And I can fill up much more of the page with the same kind of junk. Like if I want to I don't know, learn how to draw chickens one day, I can fill up that whole page with different chickens and then I don't have to only do like two or three chickens on one page and then have to change the page and blah, 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 blah. So I just prefer to draw on bigger sketchbooks now. So from now on, well, actually, I will be filling up the sketchbooks that I have because I have a bunch that are A5 because I would just watched videos and I was like, okay, everybody sketches in A5, let's do that. Um, so it was just basically following the crowd like a little sheep. Um, but you should experiment with different sizes of, of um, sketchbooks, different orientations, different amount of pages, different page texture and colour. You should experiment with all of that and um, find out what's right for you because it might not be right for you. This has just went into like a how to get a sketchbook video. I've already did a video like this but um, my point is that the sketchbook that I was using um, I didn't like it. The pages were like it was it was the book that I got was more for writing like it would have been a premium writing paper page thing but um, it's not good for sketching because it's glossier like it doesn't have any texture or tooth and it's really really smooth so um, even when I was trying to draw in pen it was really slidey and when I was trying to draw in um, pencil it was really light and it wouldn't really darken up very much it just wasn't an enjoyable experience. I like the little scratchy sounds that you get when you draw in a sketchbook um, and that didn't have that. So um, I thought that it would have been good because they were only three pounds but yeah I think that those books would be good for writing in or scrapbooking in or sticking things in or something like that but definitely not um, sketching. So I learned a lot from this challenge. I really do think that it was a good challenge to get people into sketchbooks because a lot of people might do it for a week like I did and be like, right, okay, I like sketching, but I don't like doing it this fast or this much pressure. Maybe I should go to something smaller and then you can do that. Like You don't have to completely challenge it. Like, obviously, it's a challenge. It was very challenging. Um, and I remember a video that Holly made a couple of months ago saying, stop making challenges that are not challenging, like the Crayola challenge or whatever. Um, make a challenge that's challenging and she has definitely came up with a challenge that is challenging like this challenge is absolutely crazy it is 
um, really hard, but I think that it'll help a lot of people, um, just not for me. So that's my two cents on that, or my 10 minute ramble about that. Um, I hope that you got something out of it. Maybe you are now even more motivated to try the challenge or you don't think it will be for you and you just want to go into smaller sketchbooks. Anyway guys, I'm going to wrap this video up here. I hope that you have a great day. I will see you in my next video. Remember to comment, like and subscribe. Tell me what you think about the uh, sketchbook challenge. Do you think it's a good challenge? Do you think that you are, um, if you're doing it, are you struggling? Are you um, ahead? Are you just in the middle? Like, Just tell me what you think and um, I would love to hear it. So yeah, remember to hit the notification bell to get notified of all the videos that I post as well that really helps and uh you can get notified of the live streams as well so again thank you guys for the support I love you guys and I will see you in my next video bye